things God wants man to know is in the word. In considering that the children of Israel were in bondage in Egypt, the information of the way they came to reside in Egypt from scripture, we know there was warning given by Joseph of their bondage. The important instructions God gave involving their release from bondage was a revelation of the work of Christ Jesus. In giving a symbolic teaching of the guarantee that there would be the way being made for mankind to be released from the bondage of sin, prophets were chosen and set apart. Exodus 12.1 And the Lord spake unto Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, saying, Exodus 12.2 This month shall be unto you the beginning of months. It shall be the first month of the year to you. The first feast day being the Passover, which also was in tune with the original Passover occurring on the fourth day, that is the day in creation, when the sun spoke the day and the evening light elements into being. I think of how this year is the first in 30 years when all the feast days lined up at the right time that give full support to the full purpose of the Son of God. By the feast, we see the need for the, the Son of God to become the Son of Man in providing the specific works evident that God's comforting promises are being fulfilled. Exodus 12.3 Speak ye unto all the congregation of Israel, saying, In the tenth day of this month they shall take to them every man a lamb, according to the house of their fathers, a lamb for an house. Exodus 12.4 and if the household be too little for the lamb, let him and his neighbor next unto his house take it according to the number of the souls. Every man, according to his eating, shall make his count for the lamb. Exodus 12.5 Your lamb shall be without blemish, a male of the first year. Ye shall take it out from the sheep or from the goats. The full representation of Christ Jesus as the planned Lamb of God to take away the sins of the world and pay the blood atonement for sin was planned before the world began as identified. In scriptures we are led to understand how it is that the Son of God is the only one that could pay sin's price. To understand why the Son of God as Creator needed to become the Redeemer and Son of Man. Exodus 12.6 And ye shall keep it up until the fourteenth day of the same month, and the whole assembly of the congregation of Israel shall kill it in the evening. From the start, we see the importance of the blood, and at this point, the source of the blood is as well a great importance. Exodus 12, 13. And the blood shall be to you for a token upon the houses where ye are, and when I see the blood, I will pass over you, and the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you when I smite the land of Egypt. Exodus twelve fifteen, seven days shall ye eat unleavened bread, even the first day ye shall put away leaven out of your houses, for whosoever eateth leavened bread from the first day until the seventh day, that soul 
shall be cut off from Israel. We have on the same day the one-day feast of the Passover and the twelve-day feast of unleavened bread. Both feasts are representative of the Lord Christ Jesus, as promised paying the blood atonement penalty for sin and for removing sin's abominations from the souls of mankind, taking on within the unleavened bread. Exodus twelve sixteen, And in the first day there shall be an holy convocation, and in the seventh day there shall be an holy convocation to you. No manner of work shall be done in them, save that which every man must eat. That only may be done of you. Exodus 12.17 And ye shall observe the feast of unleavened bread, for in this selfsame day have I brought your armies out of the land of Egypt. Therefore shall ye observe this day in your generations by an ordinance forever.